Denying is good for XP. Uh, denial, Kamal enter, but you lose DPS in a fight. Wow, nice stats. Clash of the Titan. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Greetings, friend. Your WC3 is the highlight of my week. Much love. Ready to work. Be happy to my pleasure. Thank you. Two v two is roughly in an hour and ten minutes. We need more gold. We need more gold. You know, these days, every time I say roughly, I see my dog's face in my in my mind's eye. Roughly. I don't know why. Yes, what you want. Something is doing. We need more number to work. Work complete. I can do it. What you want. Something is doing. He's top yes. right. Let's try again the Sudoku creeper out. this time not perfectly it's a little bit too close but it's working well, I did call it Sudoku creep route It went a lot better this time. <laughs> it was a little bit too close. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna skimp on uh, clarity potions. Maybe I don't make clarities. I actually gain back a little bit of uh, value. Because I lost quite a lot of gold. Yesterday I lost two grants and a TP. Today's better. Yes. 
Very well right clicked by him. I'm proud of him. What do you want? Taste in my brain. What do you want? Yes, Lord. Yes, I am yours. Yes, what do you want? Excellent yes. A break of something in doing. What do you want? What do you want? I am yours. What do you want? Yes, Lord. Are you hero and yes? You know that he still got ahead from that? Just clicking, losing things. I lose nothing, just resources. It's crazy. I thought I saw him go top left. Weird. Yeah, he did. So what is this all about? Is he going tier 3 or what? Looks like it. Oh, he, he expanded during all this. Okay. No. Grub, you have a pump up playlist. I am yours. Yes, I'm not. We need more gold. I'm in the face of danger. You be my next big dead. We need more gold. I am yours. Full speed. Do I kill fast? And that's about as much as I can elaborate. I'm 
I'm not gonna clear the lava because he could use it to uh, sapper my burrows because all he's got is money but he's got no units so it's important for me not to give him any value for money and sapper would be the easiest way for that to happen Glad you're a streaming that much WC3. If you're wondering how he TP'd, of course, he has uh, a knight in my belly. Yes, 
many tanks. Very nice. Nicely done by him. It's over, I think. Yeah, it's over. Damn. Weird. Uh, okay, first of all, of course, there is no way that I cannot find out that he has an expansion. This is a uh, loose situation. Aloha, Nui Loa. Rough game and thoroughly enjoyed it. Less than three. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. Uh, it was a really cool game. Ready to work. Ready Good to style. Work. Uh, I didn't scout and he took an expansion. To this work. is, uh, of course, a big problem. Lobo into Okay, so the very worst items he could possibly get There's nothing worse Except maybe spell bracers Okay, there's one worse Yeah, I should be scouting there was something weird already. Uh, I failed to analyze it. Normally, yeah, he has only five footmen and then he stopped. Normally he should have more than five, like six or seven. It's not enough though to make it tell. Then like uh, lose a lot of footmen, but keep me busy while his uh, two tower expo finishes. Okay, so let's take a look at the situation now. Let's say for the moment that if I'm late to stop his expansion, I should still know by now. And then what would I do in this situation? Mm. Not that much I can do because he can just go for my base if I go for his. And now he was starting to get a pretty solid wall off already. So I, I do think counter expansion style was the play. But I, ideally, I would still like to. Uh, I would like to know, so I can be more. I wouldn't have made the Kodo, for instance. That's a pretty big deal. The Kodo slowed me down quite a bit. For the rest, it's not like it's not terrible, but he has a lot of money. Like by the time we found the expansion, started to react, started to counter expand. I'm sure, to me and to you guys, it looks pretty good on paper. Like we get our expansion up, we get an army. But he already had masses of un of money. Look at this. He was at like 2k. I mean, he's getting everything, right? So it's about to be unleashed upon me. I think this was cute and nice, in fact, even. It was nice. But ultimately, it's little stuff for him. Losing the income here when he already had everything that he had. Still, I don't think it would be good if I didn't do it. I do think it matters. It slows him down. I'm still creeping as well. Ideally, I get my expansion up a little bit faster. But I wanted to get uh, two more camps. Like he pushes straight over. Sets up to make another expansion. I like the style a lot. I knew that he would, uh, if he's good, he would booby trap my blade with Mountain King at some point, And he did. So that's pretty cool. Luckily, it didn't lead to a kill. I got a knight here. So far, so good. So I think this is one of the key points as well. He's pressuring top left. He's got a lot of casters. My army is still pretty small. And he's making another base. 61 food. Did lose a whole bunch of peasants here. And this mountain king is stuck as well, which is pretty nifty. He currently has no money because he expanded. He's making his casters upgrades. And he's not producing any units right now. So what you see is what you get. This is it. One Mortar, Triple Hero, level 4 Archmage soon, with two Mountain Kings, Stock, and level 1 Paladin. And I'm at 50 food, about to expand. So there's a few things we could have do done differently. One is to actually raise our maximum supply cap earlier on, so that we could produce if we like to. Now, you look at this, I have a lot of money, right? This is because I wanted one more camp. And I don't think that it was wrong per se but it did mean with where my blade was with where my shadow hut was that i don't get to expand at just the right timing when tier 3 is done it's in fact i would say it was about a minute late and th this is this is a pretty big penalty to my future income uh, considering he's at 65 food he's slowly starting to produce again he fixed 
most of the issues here for peasant mining, but he's about to get more. Greetings, he TPs friend. because he sees me coming. Good. And then I do a little bit of damage here. And then he comes in to defend. I save most of it. I think I lose one walker due to unforced error. We're under attack. Walker walked in. I'm in 50 food. I'm mining finally. Uh, this one is still four peasants. I decimated the income here and he's down to 67 food. He does have a lot of lumber. And he's got a good amount of mortar teams too right now. His levels are 4 to one, uh, 4 to 2 and I'm 4 4 with monster items. And I'm still at 50 food, so I'm doing pretty good income. But it doesn't take away the fact that he already has 1 1 upgrades, 1 0, and I'm still sitting at 0 0. Now, I, st I still think I have a chance because. Oh! Oh, heavens to Betsy. I didn't even get Lightning Orb. Yeah. Well, I still think I have a chance if I get a nice 80 food army, but I need freaking Lightning Orb. Either way, I was up against it because eventually uh, he restores his stuff again. And uh, also the Blade Master loss, right? Pretty darn big deal. He just... He, he clicks my blade, sees what I have, snap call TP. Now, had I not lost my blade, I still have the same army size. He can outproduce, he can out economy me because of the triple base. But it's not too bad because I'm getting a really nice army. I've got some pretty solid permanent upgrades as well, like, um, you know, Master Walkers, Kodo upgrades. I'm set up for Envenomed Spears to get some Wyverns, which can help in fights. As long as I get like a nice set of five Wyverns, two Bat Riders, I get pretty good damage. And together with Lightning Orb, it gives me some serious single target focus fire potential but instead my air never really came off the ground because i needed to make a ginormous investment in town portal and then the blade master tavern repurchase and then the subsequent healing up of that had i not attacked here or had i attacked safely and run away on time it opens up the map for me to take the red spot first because he has tp'd and everything oh, around him has been spring. mined out, has been XD. crept away. Everything has been crept away. So he's now in a position where he doesn't have a lot of map initiative. So it opens up mercenary camp for me. It opens up the uh, red spot. And as long as I play it prudently, let's say if I just did a token attack and then ran and actually got away with maybe, let's give him one unit to Stormbolt or whatever. He's still at level two Mountain King, isn't he? And then I creep a bunch of things. I get my Shadow 5. I go up to uh, 75 food with some Wind Riders, with Venom Spears, which at that point would still be a surprise because he's still working on only anti-ground army with a Siege Engine for Harass and mostly Mortar Caster. I could suddenly surprise him with five Wyverns. And then I wouldn't say that I guarantee win, nor that I necessarily am the 50% or 60% Upper Dog or whatever. But... Uh, that would be a really good fighting chance so concludingly i would say it was three major things i should have used one p on early game to scout you don't really expect the expansion that's what makes it so dangerous but you must know it sooner or later two a bit faster on my expansion three don't lose the blade master don't risk it like that invul would have gotten me out tp on blade would have gotten me out and maybe if I just ran away, I get out as well, instead of running to the top right and chancing a Staff of Teleport. GG. Zeppelin there wouldn't have helped, it was low HP and he had two flying machines. Greetings, oh, and, yeah, and lightning orb as well. TC is nice, but I didn't have enough time to invest in a TC yet. There are other things as well, like lightning orb and... Uh, unit choice i could go something else than wyverns for example torrents but that takes too long in this game
I saw he queued up to like three upgrades on his blacksmith. Is it not viable to go multiple upgrade buildings in Warcraft 3? Like it is in Starcraft and Starcraft 2? Uh, let me just preface by saying it's extremely rare, um um. And I never did it. I never saw anyone do it. Ever. Almost. In competitive games. But after I played Starcraft 2 professionally, I come back now. And now when I play human versus human, I do double blacksmith every time. And that's how I get my 3-3 knights strategy. Four, four to five barracks as well. And that's really Starcraft experience back trans transformed to Warcraft 3. I mean, torrents would be nice, but I didn't have the lumber for it. Did you see that? Once I expanded, I had 97 lumber. In order to get more lumber, I needed to either clear a laboratory and buy a shredder and then wait or make extra peons but either way it needed me to go over 50 food and that means that the whole rigmarole the whole train starts rolling where you don't get enough money to compensate for how late you got your expansion i want to stay at 50 food but i need more lumber or from peon or a shredder and that pushes me over 50 so it was a real economy conundrum And the revive cost a lot, yeah. Yeah, 